Hey, what's up guys? So you know best, the new iPhones are here, the iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus. And I have the 6S Plus in the house and I'm gonna show you probably the most interesting new features of these new iPhones and that is 3D Touch. Now, what is 3D Touch? Well, basically 3D Touch is the display measuring how hard you're pressing down on it. And depending on how hard you're pressing, that's gonna cause a certain action to happen within the software. So let me really just go ahead and show you so you really get a better idea of this. So say I'm on the home screen and I go to the phone app. Now, if I do a 3D Touch on it, it's going to bring up a quick action menu so I can quickly call somebody that's in my favorites list or I can create a new contact and I simply tap on whatever I want to do and it'll go ahead and do that action. It's going to see how this works with other stock applications in iOS 9. So say the camera app, if you do a 3D touch on that, now you have quick options to be able to take a photo with the rear facing camera or take a selfie. Um, you can also choose to record a slow-mo video, just a regular video. So if that moment comes up where you really want to pull out your phone and snap a picture of something that's happening right there, um, you can choose to have these options that will, again, save you just a couple more seconds. But one of my favorite apps to use this with is Maps. So if I'm somewhere, I don't really know where I am, I can do a 3D Touch and quickly get directions back home. Another way to use 3D Touch on the home screen is that you can kind of press down on the left side of the screen and then swipe over and it'll bring up either the last app that you were in uh, or you can actually just kind of use the pressure a little bit to bring up all of the um, apps that are open via the multitasking section. But the home screen is not the only place you can use 3D Touch. You can also use it within applications. So say for example, I'm checking my email. I have a lot of emails to go through. I don't want to open every single one of them. I can do a 3D Touch and activate a feature called Peek and Pop and this will allow you to quickly see what inside of that email but you'll be able to determine whether or not you want to go all the way into that email and see everything just by pressing in a little bit harder on the display now if you choose not to go all the way in once you're doing peek and pop you have two options you can just lift your finger off and it will go ahead and uh, close that and go back to just your normal view while viewing email or you can actually slide up and then you'll see a number of different options like to reply to that email or to forward it or to move it to another folder and so again just just more quick actions that are available just by tapping and pressing down on the display a little bit harder or just a little bit less. And so Peek and Pop also does work inside the Photos app. You can quickly glance at a photo or actually play a video by using this. Now, another thing, 3D Touch is not just limited to the stock apps on iOS. You can also use this with certain third-party apps that have adopted this feature like Instagram. Uh, you can do a 3D Touch and you now have the option to be able to create a new post or you can kind of view your activities and you can choose to do a quick search or just check all of your DMs inside of Instagram. So Instagram was one of the first third-party apps to really jump on this 3D Touch wave, and I'm pretty sure a lot more apps are going to be coming out with this functionality uh, enabled on it. And so this is just the beginning of 3D Touch, and I would say it is definitely useful, and all of these seconds are going to add up throughout the day that it's going to be saving you. All right, so hopefully this video helped you out with understanding 3D Touch if you didn't already, but like always, guys, make sure you do subscribe to this channel if you haven't already subscribed, and you'll be notified when I upload more videos about the iPhones and also other tech. So until next time, thanks for watching this video, and I will catch you later. Peace.